Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel for yet another video of the unboxing of the MacBook Pro, the new 2021 MacBook Pro. This one is a 16 inch that was just delivered today by Apple. I ordered it on October 16th and today is November 11th. It was just delivered. So I'm going to unbox this in front of you and we're going to discuss a little bit what it is. But I was impressed when I saw the presentation by Apple and when I saw a lot of people using it online, I had no choice but to buy it. I dropped $4,000 on this bad boy here. Since November of last year, I've been using this customized desktop that I built and I showed you how I did it on KB Trainings. KB Trainings is my other channel where I do IT um, trainings or IT projects. Here I just share with you whatever I do and you do it with me. Before we get here, let me show you how I started with the MacBook. This one is my first MacBook. This is a 2011 MacBook Pro 17 inch. I like this MacBook Pro a lot because it's good, it's huge. And if you can see, the screen is also very good for photo editing or video editing or those kind of things. And it was working well until it stopped working. And also, if you take a look, you can see that we had a lot of ports back then. We also even had a DVD reader on this side here. So this was my first MacBook. It was the 2011, as I said. And I think the last time Apple made a 17 inch was in 2012. Then they stopped making the 17 inch, which was sad. They started just making the 15 and the 13. In 2018, when this one failed, I bought the 2017 MacBook Pro 15 inch. This is my daily driver right now. This is what I've been using for most of my video editing. One of the things that I was missing is here. If you look, you can see that Apple decided to remove a lot of ports. We just have two Thunderbolt uh, port on each side of the laptop, which was a problem. That's why I had to carry all these adapters. These are not even all the adapters. I didn't find some of them, but now with the new MacBook, as we're going to see, I don't need all of this because I had 4K, I needed more power. That's why I went ahead and I built the customized uh, desktop, which has 96 gig of RAM and um, i9 Intel, up to five gigahertz turbo for the CPU. That one is doing the job for now. But the thing with it is that I have to stay here if I want to edit. Sometimes I feel like doing some editing in a living room when I'm watching TV. Sometimes I feel like I don't have to be sitting here to edit. That's why when I saw the new MacBook, I couldn't resist and I bought it. So this one with 4K, it doesn't do very well. I have to create proxies or I have to reduce the size of the files and a lot of bunch of stuff that I have to do to be able to edit 4K and um, do it well on this computer. That's why the new one will definitely help. And just for comparison, this is the 13 inch 2018 MacBook Pro. You can see how small it is. So about a year ago, Apple decided to make its own chips. They came up with the M1, which is very impressive. So far, a lot of people that have tried the M1 or are using the M1 are very happy with the result, but they didn't stop there. Then about a month ago, they came up with the M1 Pro and the M1 Max, which are very powerful. And that's why I bought this one here. So these are the specs of the computer that I bought. So I bought a 16 inch and it has 64 gigabyte of unified memory. I also have one terabyte of SSD. This is the only thing that I didn't max out because it was kind of expensive. And at some point I thought that maybe I need more than one terabyte. So I called Apple to see if I can cancel this order and get a two terabyte um, disk on it. They said that if I canceled, I had to submit a new order, which may take a long time to arrive. And from what I'm hearing, People that are ordering now in November, they're probably going to get it by January, which is a long time. I didn't want to wait. So I just took this one terabyte. And the reason is because I made one of my projects lately. It's a wedding that I shot. Actually, I'm a videographer as well. I have KB Flex Media. That's my channel. If you want to take a look at what I do, uh, you probably find some videos there. I mean, I still, I'm still at the beginning, but more videos to come. So one of my wedding that I shot, I had almost 1.2 terabyte of data. So that's why I was like, uh, maybe one terabyte would be small. I need to upgrade a little bit. But just for the one terabyte, I had to add $400. What I decided is just to keep the one terabyte and I bought an external SSD that I'm going to use for active projects. This one has the 10 core CPU and the 30 core, uh, 32 core GPU. So it's really maxed out when it comes to the CPU and the GPU. All right, this is the new computer that I'm going to unbox in front of you. Let's open it and then we're going to see what's inside. All right, this is the box very well sealed. I noticed a small bump here. I just hope you didn't mess up anything in the inside, but let's go ahead and open it.
Huh, the bump was just... Okay, yeah, it was well protected in the inside. And we have the MagSafe cable for the fast charge of the MacBook. And this is the 140 watt uh, charger for the MacBook. With the, the, the MagSafe, it's going to charge the MacBook very quickly. And I thought I would have the USB-C here, but I actually don't have it. That's fine. My first impression, it's a little smaller than I thought and it's kind of dirty, I don't know what's going on, but apparently someone touched it with dirty hands. Yeah, this... I have some spots. But that's fine. It looks a little smaller than... I mean, of course it's smaller, but way smaller than the 17 inch that I showed you before. But yeah, but maybe because the 17 inch, I mean, it's 17 inch first and we have a big bezel on the side of the screen. So maybe that's why it's just too big. But when you compare them, yeah, it's very small. It has a 16.2 inch screen. Let's open it. So when we look at the side, we can see that we have an HDMI port. If we have a Thunderbolt uh, port here and an SD card reader. And on this other side, we have the MagSafe port and two other Thunderbolt and one um, 3.5 jack. This looks very good, but it's mostly about the power. And I can see that the bezel is very small and you can also see the small notch here for the camera which i don't really see very much because my um screen is a it's a little dark in this area here all right i think that's it for today i know i have a lot to say on this computer but i'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of videos on the m1 max and m1 uh, the m1 pro I'm not going to repeat the same thing. I'm just going to take my time to use this um, notebook and see how it performs. And I'm going to make a video later on to compare it to my desktop that I have here. I'm just gonna use it and I'll come back to you with my assessment and tell you exactly how much I like it or how I hate it and I want Apple to return my $4,000. But for now, I hope I'm going to have fun with it. All right, thank you for watching guys. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any question or anything, you can leave your comment down below. I'd be glad to read you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.